welcome back to my channel you guys today's video is a morning routine or more of just kind of like a morning with me type of thing i wouldn't say i have like a consistent routine yet but there are things that i obviously know i need to do every single morning so let's just go ahead and get right into it this was like a saturday morning i think um morning so i didn't like get up early or anything like that i just kind of like woke up with mellow this was his second bottle of the morning i usually do the morning feeds in bed because your girl is exhausted <laughs> and he usually goes back to sleep in the morning for another couple of hours so after he goes to sleep just making sure that he's all the way settled before i get up because if i leave the room and he's not all the way asleep i have to start all the way back over again so just making sure that he's asleep and then i'll head into the bathroom just to give myself a quick shower nothing fancy in the morning i usually just do my basic shower routine wash up with a base bar soap to make sure that i'm getting really clean and then i will go in with whatever body wash i'm using at the time so my current base bar soap that i'm using that just gets me really really clean is the dr Ronner's peppermint love this i use this underneath my armpits and in between my thighs and my butt area this just helps prevent body odor throughout the day again if you're postpartum if you've had a baby if you don't know postpartum body odor mm, it's on another level so i just make sure that i do that so i feel good throughout the day and then i've been using a lot of truly body washes so that's still what i'm using currently right now until the bottle runs out i absolutely love this one in the green bottle it smells amazing okay <laughs> And then after I wash up, I'll just go ahead and finish up with doing my hair care routine really quickly in the shower. I usually just do my hair in the shower, honestly, with the products that I have in there, put it up in a bun and just knock two things out at one time so I don't have to worry about it once I get out of the shower or if Mello wakes up for whatever reason, my hair is already ready to go. Thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, I recently dyed my hair, so my hair goals right now are to protect my color while also maintaining the overall health of my hair, and my customizable shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty helped me to achieve that goal. Function of Beauty makes creating your own shampoo and conditioner super easy with their online quiz. All you have to do is go to their website and answer a few simple questions about your hair type and your hair goals. Like I said, my hair goals are color protection and maintaining the health of my hair, so I chose deep conditioning, moisturizing, replenishing, strengthening, and color protection. And then I customized my fragrances and my color and personalized my bottle with my name and got this super cute look. And the best part about it is you can always go back and change your formula to fit your hair needs. So you're always getting the most out of your products. In the summer, I personally love to wear my hair in slick back buns. So it's important to me that my hair stays strong and moisturized to prevent breakage. So this is what my hair looks like when it's completely dry. You guys can tell it looks really healthy overall, even though I just got color done to it. it stays super moisturized and it feels extremely soft. And if you guys are interested in checking out Function of Beauty, click the link in my description box to get 20% off your first custom 16 ounce set plus free shipping when you become a member. After I hop out of the shower, I'm just going to go ahead and do my quick body care slash hygiene morning routine, which is just the basics. Brushing my teeth in the morning, I still use my Crest 3D white toothpaste. Love that, and then I'll just rinse my mouth out with some Crest mouthwash. And as far as my body product, I just always use my witch hazel still in the morning. And then I love this Mario Badescu body butter. It absorbs really fast into the skin, but it's really moisturizing. So I like that because it's just quick and easy to put on in the morning and go. And then I'll pick out whatever deodorant is kind of matching the scent or theme of my current body wash or shower routine so it happens to be this one i don't know what the name of it is but i'll link it if you guys are interested it's kind of cool it has like chlorophyll in it and some other different things that i've never seen in deodorant before so i've just been trying it out but like i said yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my witch hazel the girls didn't know no okay and then i'll just moisturize my body really quickly again keeping it super simple and quick get it in where i can fit it in like I said, my morning routine looks different every single day. Some days I don't have time to do all this. Some days Mello's in the bathroom with me, wide awake, or he'll take showers with me in the morning. Like every day is literally different, you guys. We just wake up and, and, and roll with the punches, okay? All I know is I need to take a shower and get myself ready. I need to feed the baby. I need to feed the kids. <laughs> and that that's pretty much what the mornings look like. And then I'll just go ahead and follow up with my skincare really quickly. Again, not much has changed. Keep it really simple in the mornings. I'll wash my face 
put on a little spot treatment if I need it, if I have any blemishes, and then follow up with vitamin C serum and sunscreen. But also, look, I got these new little pads off Amazon. I saw a girl on TikTok have these. They're so cute. They're just like fun to play with, really, to be honest. I don't really think they do much else. Um, but it kind of gives you that like spa experience when you're washing your face. You can like wipe it away with these pads like they do if you go to the esthetician versus like splashing the water all over your face. But yeah, besides that, I don't know if they really have any real functional purpose to them. Um, so you guys are just going to see me finish... Um, up with the rest of those skincare stubs and then I'll also do just a little bit of makeup or lip if you will I like to slick up my brows um, and then put on some lip liner and some lip gloss this just makes me feel put together and ready for the day and I swear you guys like actually getting myself ready for the day makes me 20 times more productive so this is something that I try not to skip um, in the morning times because I don't know it just makes me feel good like that I know people say that all the time like just get ready in the morning but it actually really does make a difference and then once I'm ready I will head down to the kitchen and make the boys breakfast again this was like a weekend so the kids don't have a strict morning routine on weekend days they can get up whenever they want they usually just start watching TV playing around the house with their toys they know how to get themselves dressed they can brush their teeth that kind of thing so I just let them do what they want <laughs> when they wake up in the morning on the weekend so I'm just gonna grab myself some water really fast hydrate myself again Gotta take care of mama because if I'm not right, nobody else is gonna be right for the rest of the day. And currently I am loving this liquid IV pack in the flavor golden cherry. So I like to add this to my um, morning water, my water in the morning, <laughs> just so that I can get kind of ahead of the game as far as staying hydrated in case I forget to drink water throughout the rest of the day with the tons of thousands of other things that I do running around with the kids. So. I just like to start my day off with it and plus it tastes really really good like it tastes like a cherry slushy I'm not gonna lie this is my favorite flavor now I used to really like the lemon lime but this one definitely has lemon lime beat I still like the lemon lime but you get what I'm saying anyways okay so moving on to breakfast on weekend mornings I like to cook really cute or I, I think they cute to me little breakfasts for the kids because um, in the mornings before school sometimes we just have like to do something quick like cereal or throw something in the microwave so on the weekends I like to take the extra time just do something cute for them something still super simple and easy okay that's not like gourmet chef cooking because you know toddlers are very disrespectful you can make them like a five-star meal and they will not eat it so I just try to make things that they like but make it cute so this morning I'm making um, scrambled eggs sausage a little mini like fruit salad thing and then also I like to do this thing with frozen pancakes so you can get these frozen pancakes from the store right I saw this on TikTok and then you can usually like microwave them to heat them up and serve them so I still microwave them to let them dethaw and then I basically batter them like you would french toast with eggs milk cinnamon you got a little sugar if you want and then you fry them on the pan and they're like french toast pancakes i don't know they're really really good and my kids like them and it's just a way to make something that's super simple a little bit more fancy so that's what y'all are about to see me doing Okay, and for the fruit salad, I just like to take whatever fruit that I have left over from the week, like on the Saturday morning or something, because I know I'm gonna place groceries on Sunday, and I'll just use that up, and then I'll add some other stuff to it if I have it. I had some oranges, some kiwis this week, so I added that to the bowl, and then I will squeeze a lemon juice over it and add a little bit of sugar, because it just tastes really good like that. Um, only thing I will say next time though, I'm not going to mix all the fruit up because my kids, like one of them didn't like kiwis and then the other one didn't want to eat oranges for whatever reason that day. So I think if I would have separated them, they would have probably ate more because they were acting weird about like 
oh my kiwi is touching my my orange and i don't want to eat it whatever y'all know how kids be so next time i'm gonna just separate and do a little cute little, little rainbow on a tray it'll be cute still and then yeah that was pretty much it for breakfast i like to um let them eat kind of like resist family style it's not like a buffet but you know what i mean like on a tray and then they can just pick out what they want to eat um and I don't got to fight with them about finish everything that's on your plate. You get what I'm saying? They have access to as much food as they want. If they eat the, everything that's on the tray, then I'll make them more, of course, if they want it. But I feel like it's easier to serve toddlers food like this because then you don't have to do the debate of you didn't eat this or you didn't eat that. Or if they're not in the mood for that one thing you put on their plate today, they can literally just, again, pick to eat whatever they want to eat. For their drink, I give them coconut water or milk in the morning i think they already had chocolate milk this morning so they are drinking some creative roots coconut water if you can't get your kids to drink water my oldest he does not like to drink regular water but he'll drink this all day every day i get the mixed berry flavor it's so good it's so good and then while the kids are eating i will usually eat whatever is kind of like leftover or to the side so I'm eating the rest of the fruit that morning and I think I had like a piece of sausage. I'm usually not a huge breakfast person. It's something that I'm trying to work on, like but it's kind of like a force myself to eat type of thing. So I just had a little bit of the fruit that was left over in the bowl. And then once everybody is done eating, the kids will go into the restroom, wash their hands, and they're free for the rest of the day because it was a Saturday morning. So they can do whatever they want. I'm gonna do a quick clean of the kitchen. Do y'all see the sticker that my son put on my pants? I didn't even realize it was there. How embarrassing, <laughs> no I'm kidding. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick clean of the kitchen. And when I say quick, I mean quick. I'll just rinse off the food on the plates, make sure that everything goes down the garbage disposal so that it doesn't like, you know, smell throughout the day. But I try not to overwhelm myself with cleaning like multiple times a day, like, like a full deep cleaning, if that makes sense, because that just like really burns me out and makes me exhausted. So I'll cover up the dishes with this cute little cutting board I got off Amazon. I'll link it because I know you guys are gonna want it because you can hide your dishes in the sink. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'll just wipe down the counters so there's not like a sticky mess or anything like that. And then by that time, baby Mello is either awake or gonna be waking up. So I'm just gonna get his next bottle ready. So I'm taking out some milk and I'm just gonna put it in his bottle before I start to get him dressed for the day. And again, every day looks different. Some days I'll have to get mellow dressed before I do X, Y, Z, cook breakfast, whatever. If that were the case and he would have been awake, I would have just put him in his swing. He, he got this new swing. I don't think I've showed it to you guys yet. So maybe on the next vlog, y'all will see it. I want to say it's by Munchkin. Okay, it's way better than the Four Moms Mamaru. Like way better. He, or well, at least Mello likes it way better. He will sleep in that thing for hours. He's currently sleeping there right now. He's been in there for like, a cool hour already okay so i'm gonna link that too if you want it because i really really like it but anyways i'm just gonna change him get him dressed um do my little snuggles come morning come morning Hi. that's pretty much it for this morning again my morning routines change i'm just taking it day by day um so my best advice if you're looking for something super super structured don't be too hard on yourself just to make a list of things that you know you want to get done in the morning and then just do them every morning it doesn't matter what order you go in just as long as it gets done okay so thanks for hanging out and spending the morning with us don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in another one